everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would share with you um, a little project I've been working on. Uh, I've been trying to make a small book with envelopes in it. This was my, my kind of test one, which I did to just kind of experiment with to see how it would work. You can see I've got little envelopes and pages sewn in. Yeah. And I thought, well, it would be nice if I could actually have a use for the little, for a little book with envelopes. And I thought maybe something like buttons might be cute, kept in, um, in a book like this. And then I thought, because I've started belly dancing recently, I've been trying to make my own belly dancing costumes and things. So I have all this material that I, I use for, for decorating my, my costumes. And these little things need somewhere to be kept, little coins and beads. And those would be perfect in a little envelope book. So I thought I would make a little book with a belly dance theme for my little belly dancing coins and things. So that's what I'm going to share with you today, how to make a belly dancing themed envelope book. I started my book by covering some cardboard with some black velvet and some paper on the inside and some ribbons and a bit of bling on the outside. That was to begin my little book. I then got my envelopes all ready. I cut them out using my We Are Memory Keepers envelope maker. I also made some fabric a uh, little sleeve to put needles in. I put a bit of uh, like washi tape on the edges of the envelope so that they won't get damaged by the needles when I sew them into the, into the book. So those are all ready to put inside the book. I also made some pages with pockets in so that I can tuck things like thread and other pieces inside. The first thing that I needed to do was to measure where I was going to put the holes in so that I could stitch the different envelopes into the book. Um, I did this by using a template to mark the top of the book and the top of the envelope so that I would know where exactly to put my holes in my cover and in the different envelopes. Then use the template to mark off the holes I was going to put in the book cover. I've decided to do, since I have five envelopes, I need five holes at the top and five holes at the bottom. I did realize that after I'd um, made my holes, after marking them, that they go through the ribbon on the other side of the book cover which was not very good because it made it hard to actually sew the different signatures into the book. But um, I didn't realize that until after I'd already measured and put all my holes in. So I just had to stay with it. I use a piece of um, cardboard, a stack of cardboard that I've got held together with a rubber band to put my holes in so that I don't go through and get holes in the table. <laughs> Seems to work um, quite well. And it's lightweight and easy to carry around with me when I'm going to different places. So I found that's a nice little trick. I've heard using a book, an old book, is a good way. And I've used that as well. But I found that a book was a bit um, 
harder to carry around with me. So this little stack of cardboard works really well. Next I put the holes into my different uh, envelopes and I found it, it was easier to actually put the holes in to the envelopes and stitch them in as I went along so that everything stayed lined up as I was working. So again I used my um, template to make sure I get my holes in the right place. Once I have my uh, holes in place, I then thread my needle, which actually took me quite a few tries. That's why all the editing to take out those bits. But um, once I had my needle thread, I then thread the envelope and this little needle holder into the first set of holes in my book. And I just did a simple uh, stitch with just two holes in it. I think it's, it is prettier the one with the three three holes but because you don't actually see the, the any of the stitching on the inside because that be, gets hidden by the envelope once you glue the envelope together. So I stitch them together and then tie the knot which as I said is in, gets hidden inside the envelope. I continued doing this with the rest of the envelopes and the signatures so that I could fill the book with all of them. Once the book was all full of the different envelopes, I started to glue them down. So that's just gluing down the two sides and the bottom to make them into the little envelopes. And there they are secure with the stitching, as I said, hidden inside. So I did that for each of the different uh, envelopes in the
then use my hole punch to punch a hole in the front and the back of the book cover so that I could put eyelids in to put a ribbon around it for a closure. It seems like I was getting a bit crazy with some excessive force on you putting the eyelids in. <laughs> Either that or we were having a bit of an earthquake here <laughs> in Chile. <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to make sure they were really well secure because uh, I didn't want any sharp bits on the back of my, uh, of the inside of the book, which can happen sometimes if the eyelids aren't pressed in nice and tight. So I think I was just trying to get it really, really, really good and tight, I think. <laughs> I chose a pink ribbon from my small collection of ribbons to go with the kind of the pink and blue theme that I've got for this little book. So I took that and cut a piece of it good size. I also thought the ribbon felt nice because some of the bits of sequins and things I have stuck on the outside of the book have a kind of rough feel to it and I wanted something that felt nice for tying the bows and everything. So, that's the book almost finished. I have the little page there where I can have stick in needles so that when I need to do any sewing, um, I can put in some of my little uh, coins. You can see my, some of my coins, I can just slide in there. And I can also, in one of the little pockets that I have, I can um, put some thread that I've already put onto a little tag. So I keep that tucked in there, so I'll keep it uh, bits of thread to sew on anything I need to sew. And then some little beads to put in, little gold beads, which don't want to go in, they just want to run away. But they'll still get uh, held in nicely. So that is all the envelopes in and the last thing I did for this little book is I thought it needed a bit more pretty stuff so I made a tassel out of ribbons and beads and some bells things that I thought would look pretty for when you're belly dancing so I made a little tassel and I just put it all onto a paper clip and onto a safety pin sorry and the safety pin can then just um, clip onto wherever I wanted to clip onto the onto the book. So I thought that would make um, a nice little extra bit for the book. So I hope everyone has enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. Um, this is quite an experience for me doing the different techniques to try and make a video. It's the first time I've been cutting and chopping and editing and doing voiceovers and trying to put music in. So I learned a lot trying to make this video. So I hope everyone enjoyed it as much as I did.